this is LBS Posh. Yes. Is LBS worth the money you invest in your fees? If you're a future LBS student, take some notes. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Clouds. Today I'm going to be doing a LBS Q&A. I have received a lot of questions on my Instagram and also on LinkedIn, on my comment section about London Business School. And I have replied to a lot of these individually. So people who have DM'd me on Instagram, I have replied to everyone individually. Uh, however, I thought I'd still include these questions in this video because I'm sure a lot of you out there have you know, the same questions. So I did leave a comment on my LBS video saying that if you guys had any questions, please leave comments down here. And despite doing so, no one asked me questions there, but everyone asked me questions everywhere else. So, I mean, maybe you guys weren't comfortable asking me questions, you know, publicly on this Q&A comments. But for future reference, I'll say if you do want to ask me questions, please do reach out to me on Instagram. I'm more likely to be responsive on that platform. And on comment sections, I'm very likely to give a very short answer. Uh, through email, it gets lost on my inbox all the time. And LinkedIn, I don't check it that regularly. And to be honest, I kind of prefer to keep LinkedIn and my YouTube channel quite separate because LinkedIn for me is very professional and is really for my professional contacts only. So I'd rather you guys reach out to me through Instagram. Unless you guys are actually an LBS student who want to you know, connect with me on LinkedIn, then that's absolutely fine. Please do connect with me on LinkedIn. But if you have like questions and stuff, do reach out to me on Instagram. It's a lot better there. I'm more responsive and I'll get back to you a lot sooner and give more thorough answers. Also, I will be doing future Q&As on Instagram. Like, you know the feature that Instagram has where you can reply to a story and ask a question? I'll probably be using that feature in the future. So do follow me there if you guys want to participate in those sort of Q&A videos. I'll be doing Q&As about London Business School, Queen Mary, uh, London, and also consulting if you guys are interested. So do follow me there if you want to know more about that. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. I'll start off with all the questions that I received through Instagram. So the first question I got was from Kalindi uh, and he asked, can you please tell me how I can plan my extracurriculars as I have none till now? Can you list me things, extracurricular activities that you have engaged in, please? Okay, so I'll start from the very start. In high school, I was the president of the student council uh, and I also worked very closely with a Buddhist society where, you know, I engaged with different events and stuff like that. Uh, and I also volunteered here and there. In uh, university, I was in second year, the treasurer of Queen Mary Dance Society, and I was also the events manager of Abacus Society. And in third year, I became the president of the Queen Mary Dance Society. At LBS, in my master's degree, I was the PR officer for Asia Club. So yeah, those are kind of my extracurricular activities. If you guys wanna you know, enhance your profile with more extracurricular activities, I would really just say, just get involved in societies and take on committee roles. That is probably the easiest and fastest way to get some really valuable extracurricular experience into your CV. Okay, so the next question I have is from Darun. And Darun asks, Hey Claudia, I want to ask about the work experience one should have for LBS. Should it be like a proper job or internships are fine too? So, for all the early career programs, so that is the Masters in Management, the Masters in Financial Analysis, the Masters in Analytics and Management, that one is also it was a bit hard to say, Masters in, Masters in Analytics and Management, and in the Global Masters in Management, so these four courses at LBS are the early career courses, you don't need any full-time work experience. Actually, there's a maximum full-time work experience that you can have to be eligible to apply. So if you have more than two years, then full-time work experience, you're not eligible to apply. So I personally did not have any full-time work experience. I finished my undergrad and I went straight from that to my master's and a lot of people do that. So it's absolutely fine. Internships are not compulsory. Uh, they're not a requirement to apply. However, they really do help your application. So I would really recommend getting involved in summer internships if you have the chance to. So the next person has asked a couple questions. So the first one is, if the university where you have studied the degree is very important, must it be from X ranking or whatever? And the second question is, if the qualifications do degree also are taken into account so the university where you come from doesn't matter technically but if you come from a reputable university it does help your profile I'm not gonna lie this is definitely not a make or break to your profile if for example you come from a university that is perhaps not as well ranked but you have a lot of things on your profile like a lot of internships a lot of really good work experience and you know you've got yourself involved with a lot of different things then 
you still have a very 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 high chance of getting accepted so even though your university does i guess play into part in terms of the holistic overview it doesn't make or break anyone's application and in terms of the grades that you are required to have so you have to have at least a 2-1 in your application uh, a UK 2-1 which I think converted is like a 4 point something GPA I don't remember but I mentioned that in my other LBS video here in terms of like what the exact requirements for your grades are but yeah university not a make or break it is really hot here in Portugal guys I'm getting really sweaty so the next question is from Rakit and he asks what do you think is more beneficial to do MIM from LBS or HEC Paris considering job prospects and I did not do any research on HEC Paris uh, I do know that there are really good European universities for masters in management as well but for me my priority was to stay in London so I didn't do much research on European um, on European universities I did do more research in UK universities like Imperial and LSE but in terms of European universities I don't really know I know that they're very reputable they're very high ranked so if you got accepted then congratulations I know that they're very very good universities but how they compare to LBS I yeah I can't really say I would say LBS is definitely more international I know that for a fact uh, but in terms of job prospects um, I I'm afraid I can't help there, but I would say if you want to apply to London, if you want to ultimately work in London, it is a lot better if you do come from London Business School, I would say. His second question is, how job prospects going to change accordance to post-work visa? This is actually a very good question. So if you guys don't know, if you're coming to the UK now and to study, you actually get two years uh, of, of you know ability to save by your visa before your, your visa expires and you have to basically leave the country if that makes sense before you get a job so for example right now any international student that comes from outside of the EU who comes from LBS has to find a job that will sponsor them within like a year and I think after your degree finishes you have like three months to leave the country if you can't find a job but for future applicants that are coming you know this year and forward they have one more year after graduation to find a job so it is a lot easier and I think for most people the, the visa thing is such a huge stress because if you can't get a, a job you can't stay in London and once you ultimately move out of London it is extremely extremely hard to move back in and get sponsored you know to come in and, and, and work so it's gonna be a huge advantage for any future students going now forward to get a job in London having like that extra time before the visa expires so yeah the next question comes from Sergio Dentish and he says hey just watched your video how I got into London Business School you're amazing hope you're doing great thank you so much that's so sweet I, I love it when I get these kind of messages and then he says I would like to know more about the LGBT environment at LBS I love this question again I would say LBS like this is not a PR thing this is not me trying to sell the school to you but LBS is actually really really progressive when it comes to LGBTQ plus uh, initiatives to give you guys an example we have a very active uh, LGBTQ plus society and it's actually called the out in business club um, and they hold a lot of events that are not just for LGBT people but for any allies who want to join they really put on really great events they also have the year outs um, big conference which you know features a lot of huge huge companies a lot of great guest speakers and you know they have the white party as well which is just a huge party where everyone wears white unfortunately this year we're not able to do it in person because of the coronavirus but again really big events they even gave out stickers and I even have let me show you guys this I even have a sticker on my laptop from LBS that's like the LGBTQ flag the rainbow flag and then this one from the woman uh, in business as well so yeah they give out stickers and everyone puts them on like their water bottles or you know I put them on my laptop and everyone holds it with pride actually one of the initiatives that the Out in Business Club did as well which really touched me was when they went from class to class and students in the class that were you know homosexual or bisexual etc um, went forward and told their story about how they came out and that was such a touching moment for I think a lot of students and yeah I think just things like that really show you know the nuances in a, a school that's really really open and progressive so
My next questions come from someone called Nadia Sukundu and she's very lovely. She reached out to me on Instagram to know more about LPS and then she actually sent me a list of questions to answer in this video. So I'm not going to answer all of them because there's a lot, but I'm going to answer some of the spicier ones. So one of the ones she asked is LBS Posh. Yes. I mean, everything is very relative, right? And for me, I think in relation to my previous experiences, I'm at undergrad university. So compared to Queen Mary, LBS is very posh. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the English posh, like no one's English, no one's like has he or the queen, but I think everyone comes from a very affluent background, I can tell. Not everyone, but most people I'd say come from a pretty, you know, well-off background. Um, people tend to be very, you know, eloquent when they speak. Everyone is very knowledgeable in business, everyone's very knowledgeable in what's happening in the world. Uh, the conversations you have are not going to be, you know, very childish. They're most likely going to be, you know, sort of mature. Unless it's like not in a school environment. When it's like when you're outside of school and someone's place hanging out, drinking, then it's going to be like not posh at all. But I think as a school, in comparison to other schools, I think it is quite posh. Especially because it's only a postgraduate school, so there's no undergraduates. So everyone who's in the school is above the age of 21 or 22. So yeah, I would say in that sense, it's slightly more mature. I'm not, say if, I'm not sure if the word posh is exactly the word, but I would say it's more mature. So another question, let me see. Let me see what other question is interesting. Is LBS worth the money you invest in your fees? This is a good question too, and I think a lot of people want to know whether LBS is worth the huge, huge tuition fee price tag. And to be honest, I can't tell you this answer yet because to me, LBS's value will only be really noticeable in the long-term future. So I think for business schools like London Business School or for you know American uh, business schools as well, most of the assets that you'll gain is not really the skills or the knowledge that you'll learn because those things you can learn very easily through other schools or other courses but it's the connections that you'll make so the connections that i make today at london business school would you know hopefully be very very valuable in the future so yeah in that situation i think the tuition fee will be definitely a good return on investments but i can't say for sure yet so another question she asks is are there many foreign students Yes, in my class there was like 97% foreign students, so a lot of foreign students. Not many English people to be honest. I I know like three English people in my course, which is very very little if you think about a school that is based in England. So, yeah. Okay, now I'll move on to questions that I have gotten on my YouTube comments. So a lot of these questions, again, I already answered on the comment section, but to give a more thorough answer, I thought it'd be really good to include them in the video as well. So the first question is from Jenny Kim. I'm pretty sure it's not that Jenny. So this Jenny asks, what concentration in management are you doing? I am doing general management. So the course is called Master in Management. So yeah, pretty general. Just talk about the foundations of, you know, management. However, you can definitely um, tailor your course to your you know areas of interest because there are electives that you can choose and pick so if you're more interested in finance if you're more interested in strategy there are courses that you can pick as well so you can tailor your course around what you want to do next question comes from Bogur Axel I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name he asks any tips for international students specifically from Italy and also says also I wanted to ask you how did you find an apartment so First question, any tips for international students? Again, London Business School is extremely, extremely international. If you're coming from Italy, you won't have a problem. There's a huge, huge Italian community at LBS. Most of them come, come from Bocconi. So if you come from that school, then you already have like a family at LBS. But yeah, don't worry about being an international student. There's everything just gonna fall into place. We're all international students. Uh, next question about the apartments. So if you're a future LBS student, take some notes. LBS has an Excel spreadsheet that you actually can use. Actually, I don't think it's done by LBS. It's done usually by students that, you know, they'll post on the Facebook page. So we had a 2020 MIM Facebook page. Someone posted a spreadsheet 
for flat flatmate search so you basically write down what your name is what your age is your gender uh, you also write about like uh, whether or not you make noise or whether or not you prefer to hang out in the living room or whether you prefer to just stay in your rooms and like what price point you're looking for and based on that spreadsheet you can then look for people who you think would be good flatmates use that spreadsheet to find someone to live with and once you find a flatmate or flatmates uh, then you can together join in a smaller group chat and start looking for flats on websites like Zoopla, Gumtree, Spare Room, etc. Also, something that people do is previous LBS students will lease out their flats to further incoming LBS students. So say I'm a MIM 2020 and I obviously want to move out of my flat, I will reach out to MIM 2021s who perhaps want to move in because it is a flat next to campus and etc. It just stays within the LBS community. Next question on my YouTube comes from the random guy and he says, hello. First of all, thank you for the informative video. However, I've a doubt with regards to getting into LBS for MIM via GRE. Is it a disadvantage if I apply via GRE because GMAT is more management focused and they prefer GMAT? Answer is no, there is no difference. You can get in equally with a GRE or a GMAT. LBS does not prefer any sort of standardized test. So I'll say sit the test that you think you can stand out in, sit the test that is easier for you and sit the test that you're most likely to perform well in. So for me, when I compared the two tests together, I thought I would be able to perform better on the GRE. So yeah, there's definitely, definitely no difference in terms of which one you apply with. LBS will judge them equally. The next question comes from Amandua and this person says, can we apply in pre-application round like you without a GMAT, GMAT score in hand? No, you need a GMAT score or GRE score even if you're applying in the pre-selection round. Next question comes from Nao Natsumoto and this person says, when do you believe I should do the GMAT exam? I am going into second year by the way. I'm gonna assume you wanna do LBS straight after you graduate. Uh, if you are in second year right now, I would say you have a lot of time. You can study in the summer, in the summer between second year and third year that summer study and get your score as as well as you want it to get i would say that summer is probably the best time to prepare for a gmat or gre because you don't have school but then again if you have an internship you're also probably going to be really busy so just judge and see when you're going to have the most time to study for the exam and use that time wisely as long as you have the score ready by the time like the second to last round uh, finishes then then that's good because you don't want to wait until the last round that might be a bit too risky so yeah I would say just make sure you have it in time before like January time next question comes from Art Gandhi and he asks I'm CFA level 2 candidate so can I apply for MFA and LBS on the basis of level 1 or am I supposed to give my GMAT if you're applying for MFA, so that's the Master's in Financial Analysis, which is also an early careers course, you can apply without a GMAT if you have a CFA Level 1. So if you have a CFA Level 1, that exempts you from doing the GMAT or the GRE. This only applies to the Master's in Financial Analysis though, so if you're applying for the MIM or the MAM, it doesn't count. Next question comes from YouTube Boy, and YouTube Boy asks, would have been great if you described your profile your CGPA, work experience, internships, etc. I will do a future video on this because there's a lot to cover in terms of like all my work experiences, all my extracurricular activities, everything. I'll probably do a video like just going through my CV and I'll just show you guys my CV and go through everything. everything. Um, so yeah, please look out for a future video for that. So yeah, that is all the questions for today's video. I've answered a pretty decent amount of questions. Uh, I'm sorry if I didn't get to your question, I will try to go through all my comments and answer every question but again, please do remember that it is a little bit hard to go through all the videos and answer all the questions when sometimes they just get, you know, mixed up. So yeah, if you guys do have really important questions and want a thorough answer from me, do reach out to me on Instagram. That is the best platform to reach out to me on. I will leave the link to my Instagram on the description box below if you guys are interested. Uh, and yet again, I'll be doing that Q&A thing that people do on the Insta stories for LBS, consulting, Queen Mary University, and also living in London as a student. So reach out for that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A video. Hope it was uh, insightful and hope it helped to answer some of your questions. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.